Hey, there we go. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the stream here. I certainly hope you're doing pretty good today, because I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, but we're going to be back in some colonization today. We played that a little bit last week, and um, it seems like it actually went really well. So, yeah, I think uh, it's loading the game up now. You might be able to hear it just a little bit. Uh, it looks like it's already up. It, this game takes all of 10 seconds to load, so kind of stand on my headset just a little bit, because it's a little bit loud. Okay, let me actually get the game pulled up for you guys. And I realized I did this wrong. All right, well, let's uh, fix that really quick. Because unfortunately, with this one, I can't use game capture, so I have to just use a monitor capture, which is okay. You know, it, it, it's an older game. I, I kind of get that. So go back to this, though, and we can kind of fool the uh, computer into thinking that uh, we're playing full screen anyways. Uh, hold on, there's something wrong here still. Oop, hold on. Let's see if we can get this to work. Or hold on, I'm doing this in video up here. This one, there we go. And give it a second to reload. There it goes. So yeah, we're back in this game. No problems. Um, I do realize how oh, big. Um, hmm. You know what? Let me move my camera really quick. I was kind of hoping to keep my uh, camera there at all times now. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to move it, at least for this game. Because uh, it looks like it, I was trying it out for Planet Coaster as well. Um, it looked like that worked out pretty well there, um, but it, it uh, doesn't really work out for colonization because it covers up a lot of the details there. So there's that. We got that back in the right spot here. Let's get back in the game here. Full screen there. There we go. There we go. Now everything's loaded up here, so we should be good. Now, if you remember from last time, we actually had a little bit of a war with the Spanish. Um, which we thoroughly defeated them. Uh, we did start this colony here to help with some cotton. Um, unfortunately, we uh, kind of crashed the uh, silver market in uh, the in Europe, so uh, we didn't have much in the way of um, much in the way of money coming in. But now that we're starting that cotton plantation, uh, it seems to be going a little bit better now. Uh, the issue I'm seeing right now is that the Spanish are starting to encroach on our territory once again, and the uh, the French are starting to do it a little bit too. And I got a feeling we're going to have to fight at least the Spanish again, and possibly the French. Um, but we will uh, see about that here shortly. Oh, there's a privateer up here. I think I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Uh, didn't work out too well. But I get a feeling if the Spanish decide to start surrounding me once again, I get a feeling we're going to have to, uh, uh, we're going to start taking them out again. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know how well it's going to go because, uh, you know. All right, look at that. So the, the French prior here attacked us. Even though I actually had a bonus, uh, we actually beat them pretty soundly. So... So we're looking for a master cotton planter with this guy. Um, looks like we're going to throw a bunch of horses into the uh, harbor there. Not great. Uh, so now somebody has hit 100%. It oh, looks like uh, that smaller village to the north, New Holland, has actually already hit 100%, which is pretty good. Uh, that We get the bonus from them. So we'll have a lot of... Uh, have a lot of... Um, a lot more food coming in. And that is pretty good. Let's see here. So right now we're producing a extra 42 food a turn. If I'm not mistaken, is it every 100 extra food that you get a person? So in this case, we'd get an, a new person every three turns, which is crazy. And we really need to get some more horses up here. We can produce a ton of horses up here. So let's make this guy actually a soldier. So now we're producing eight horses. I don't think I can do it with this guy, though. Oh, it does. It actually produces four more horses. I'm going to do that for now and just try to pump out as many horses as I can. Fair enough. We did lose a little bit of this, but now we it's still the same turn, though. So it still takes three turns to produce a person, but now we're producing a lot more horses so we can create more dragoons, which if we're going to fight the Spanish again, uh, we actually have quite a bit of dragoons, but still, it's gonna we're going to need some help on that front. So let's have this guy just kind of sail back down. This thing will park him right there. Um, I don't want to attack. I really, if anything, it'll be the Spanish I take out um, if I do anything like that. So 
uh, let's see here. I think this is going to be all cotton. So, um, go ahead and just plow clear that land. This guy's going to walk down this way. Yes, Master Cotton Plug. That's exactly what I needed. All right. Perfect. So, I'll have that guy get back to town here. We'll have him start planting more cotton. Um, because that'll be very useful for our, uh, what we're trying to do there. Um, I do need to get a ship down to, um, down to, or, hold on, I think it's this, uh, is it here? It's not New Amsterdam, it's New Holland that I need to get somebody down into, because I think they had 300 tools just sitting there, and that means he can't produce anymore. So let's go ahead and just throw a bunch of tools into that ship. Um, I'll have this guy sail up to our cotton plantation um, just so that um, uh, just so that they uh, have plenty of tools for the number one that pioneer that uh, has run out of tools he'll have plenty of uh, tools then to use so it'll work out pretty well for us have him go to oh I hit the wrong button dang it all right well let me go get him real quick that happens quite a bit in this game, uh, unfortunately, but uh, nope, it happens. I don't want to, I can't attack that ship, unfortunately, because it's not a pirate, but, uh, you know, I so would. It would be so nice if we could. I mean, I, I really am just thinking about it. It, it might be getting time to uh, um, attack one of these towns, I just don't know, or one of these cities i think if we do it i think we if, if we attack the spanish we go full out and just wipe out all the colonies that they have and it's a lot i know but at this point they've caused us quite a bit of headache and uh i i don't think there's really any other way i can see them stopping this so uh let's see here if we're going to do that though let's go ahead and create a stockade here uh just so that we have some defense Let's go ahead and, and complete this. We have two scouts here just sitting here doing nothing, which is not great, but uh, uh, so now I'm just getting news that it actually takes 200 people for, or 200 food per person, which still what, for one every six turns, it's still not bad. Um, and technically, if we had all that food, it'd be one every five turns, but I'm okay with that. Um, let's see here. Um, here 20 tools there I think that's all they create though like I, I don't think we have any more there's no more upgrades for it um, we could create a magazine here so we can produce more muskets there um, that's but that's hmm, I don't know because I'm also thinking about we really need artillery too artillery would help defend our bases um, and because right now, if you look, I think it's F6. And I hit my face. I think I gotta stop doing that. Hold on. Let me switch back. I gotta just go to here. If you had a colony advisor, we only have one cannon and it's in New Holland. Uh, if we can get at least one in each, I'd prefer probably two in each. But uh, for right now, if we can have just one in each, um, I'd be okay with that. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's, it's like it's one of those things where like I, I, I it's nice but we got to figure out how we're gonna do this because I want to start declaring independence here soon. How soon? Not really sure. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, but uh, you know, that's just me. Ooh, sorry, I'm, but I, I know I need a couple more port towns. I only have three. But here's my thing though. There's one. Two, three, four, five, and then there's actually one down here. Yeah, there's six Spanish towns we could take over, which that's quite a bit. I'll, I'll just be honest here. I'd build a road to Santo Domingo and probably down, and then down to Havana and then down to Isabel, and the rest of these actually have a little bit of connection to them. So it wouldn't be too awful bad to do, uh, but we, we would really have to press the attack pretty hard for uh, for us to get that done. So. Let's park that guy there. Just kind of no orders through those guys. Got a couple of scouts that are just sitting here doing nothing, which is fair. I mean, they, they really don't have much to do right now, so 
Uh, let's see, this one, it is plowed. This is gonna be a really good one. Major River Road and plowed. Yeah, so it's so a three, that's five. So that'd be about 10 cotton for a turn. That's pretty uh, good. Go ahead and plow clear that area there. It would be kind of, you know, the French are starting to come quite around to that area, and I'm a little nervous about that, but, uh, oh well. Right now, I'm more concerned about the Spanish, because the Spanish are surrounding my, my bigger towns in, down in South America, which is uh, a little bit more to worry about, I think. Um, let's see here. Number one, this guy. We can actually get back out and capture more first. Um, hmm. What do we want to do here next? Because uh, we already had the fur factory going. Uh, that's what we pretty much just produce here. Um, we don't have a blacksmith shop. We could do it with a blacksmith shop. That'll work. We don't have a blacksmith to put in there, but if we ever need tools, we can always put one in there. Like, we are producing a good amount of iron here. But, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's go and mess up, mess with uh, the Spanish shipping, because I think that's gonna, you know, help me more than uh, mess with the French shipping. Because uh, uh, they're probably just shipping in horses and guns, if I had to guess, and uh, yeah, it's probably not great. How much is an artillery? Um, when we get to our turn, I'm going to look how much an artillery is. Because um, if it's relatively cheap, um, I might just go and buy like three of them or four of them. Um, let's see, purchase. Artillery is 500 bucks. We have $9,000. I'm sending my galleon. Well, well, hmm. This guy is going to go to Amsterdam. I'm going to go pick up a couple of artillery for our towns. Um, because, so, um, and that guy can, I think, only put 50 in there, actually. There we go. So now we get a full load of muskets here in Fort Orange. So now we don't, have to, so if something were to happen, we can produce, you know, what is that? Six more soldiers real quick. So I think we'll be okay with that. Um. No orders on these guys. There's some shipping we can go take out. We stole one sugar. That was well worth that. That was totally useless. Don't have a warehouse here yet, so we'll have to do this. More pioneer, and we'll drop the tools off. All right. All right. No more. Uh, no, I think we're supposed to sell this guy out of here. Don't think we have, we can't get up there because there's a soldier there, but I think these two are ready to go. These are the road there. We can't do anything else there. Uh, so I think we'll be okay for there. So I'll have to have that guy move in there. Um, here's the other thing though. I'm trying to think uh, what I want to do. Um, I need some more fishermen up here. Um, so, I can either just train them in Amsterdam or just, uh, get a schoolhouse in that village or in that town and, uh, train them from that master fisherman there. I don't remember what I was going to do exactly, but, uh, I didn't want to order, no orders that wagon. That was not in the plans there. All right. Let's see if we can go steal more than one sugar from these guys. Oh, there's a galleon sitting there. I need to be to me. All right. Well, that's just a uh, load of poop. All right. Well, um, let's have this guy actually. Um, let's have this guy sail down this way. I'm going to have him pick up uh, probably three free colonists, and then those will become fishermen eventually. Let's 
park there. Nope. Nope. Cool. We got our cotton planter now here. We don't have a schoolhouse yet to train people, which is unfortunate, but we'll have him start doing 10 cotton. Um, it looks like he produced about 8 there, so it's pretty good. Uh, so the town's producing what? 15? 15 cotton per turn. He's not producing that much, uh, not that much cloth, but, uh, you know, still not bad. I still want to get, um, if I, if I can get, um, I need to get a weaver shop going there because a weaver shop's going to help us produce more cloth, which at this point will, uh, give us a lot more in the way of, uh, money. Because if you, uh, saw from last time, our, uh, our, uh, our, our markets were a little messed up, so let's go ahead and make that weaver shop. Um, if you look, yep, there we go. There's a new colonist there. So I'll go ahead and complete the fortress there. Oh, oh, look at that. We got a new statesman. Awesome. I don't know if we need him anywhere, though. So let's, uh... 3900 bucks, which is actually not bad, because um, three mercenaries are usual, or three veteran soldiers are $2,000. Now let's just go ahead and buy those. And it's funny enough, it's the Spanish that are buying, or let me buy those mercenaries, and I'm going to use them against them. So that's kind of funny. I just, I just think it is. Um, Colony Airport, that's what I needed to do. Because I want to see, we have everybody uh, full up right now on uh, Elder Statesman. So that's pretty cool. So that means this guy can actually go back here. Not the farmer, please. I need, I need the food very badly. I'll have him start producing more Liberty Bells. And hopefully we can get to that 100% really quick. Uh, how, how quick? Not really sure, but you know. Uh, let's see here. They are not producing any horses here. I've noticed that. Do we not have a stable here? No, we don't. Um, Let's just go ahead and just build a stable real quick. I know we were building our artillery, and we'll probably lose some of that. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. Um, I don't know what that cart just did. It just did it back and forth. I wonder if they're having issues with all these soldiers around. It's very possible they are. Try this again, though. And he evades me once again. Uh, let's actually get this guy there. Let's go ahead and unfortify three guys. It's kind of the nice thing about having enough all those colonists just sitting there. We can actually train them to do something. And there we go. So I think we got another one to replace them. So awesome. Fortify, fortify, and fortify. Oh great! Now the Incas are attacking. This is the first Indian raid we've had against us. That's pretty impressive that it took this long. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to get through a fortress of like with like three or four dragoons behind it. We're okay there. But still, I was kind of surprised that was the first one. <coughs> oh, great. Now their frigates are after me. Yeah, we evaded them. Good. Let's get all this going here. Got a lot going on, which is awesome to see. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to a. We can do a magazine. Hmm. I know we was like, oh, mine are. Oh, it's like we can just get an artillery, but I think we're just gonna go buy ours because I think it's more. You know, it's gonna be a little bit easier that way. Just buy four artillery. Ooh, that's a target. We'll take the sugar and we'll take the horses. And we sunk the rest of it. Awesome. Alright, this guy can go to the new village there. Hopefully that'll be a little more uh hopefully uh we can use those guys to get a lot more food going. That's kind of the hope at least. Where's on that guy? Nope, nope, nope. No, nope. Alrighty. There's these turns are going a lot faster now, which is awesome. But um 
you know, I, I get a feeling here we won't, it's going to be a bit of a slowdown when we start attacking again. Um, I mean, it's kind of just kind of the nature of it. We'll have a lot of troops to move and things like that. Um, kind of my idea right now with this is that I'm, I'm thinking uh, we go ahead and purchase artillery. Yes. Purchase artillery. Yes. Purchase artillery. Yes. And purchase artillery. Yes, I know that was very expensive because it's nine hundred dollars now. But uh, oh well, I mean, there's no other statesmen are already ready for recruitment. I don't have room for them right now. But uh, this guy's gonna be selling back with four artillery because we really need it. He's almost gone up ten percent in like two or three turns, which is awesome to see. Uh, let's change this to an ironworks because they're not really doing much here because we don't have like ocean or anything like that, so they don't have much to do. So that wagon is now in here, which they could use the muskets. Go ahead and just drop those off there. Hmm. I, I'd like to try to get all my soldiers to dragoon before I decide to attack. And now they're already at twenty, or they're making twenty-four horses a turn. Um, we can go ahead and make two of these guys dragoons again, because now they're producing sixteen a turn. Um, I need to change this though before I forget. Uh, they don't have a customs house here. Well, it makes sense because we're not really selling anything. I mean, we do have stuff to sell here. Um, let's go ahead and make a custom house there so that uh, they can sell stuff from there. This guy needs to go back to New Amsterdam because he is full. Well, full as in he's got two things with uh, slots in them. All right, cool. We got a, yeah, guys up in the new cotton village up here. Go ahead and have them start making food. For food. And I oh, can't put that guy in because we are already at our eight. Which I do realize that that, that uh, event log is covering up. But yeah, we're at eight people right now. So can't really do that right this second. But that's okay. Um, I think that'll be just fine though for right now. Because uh, we already have three Elder Statesmen in there. And... That'll go up pretty quick. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll be just fine. Go ahead and get orders to these people here. By the way, in Fort Orange, I know I think we had a drag or a, a couple of foot soldiers there. No pirates. No whatever. See, what I could try to do, I don't know how this would work. Is that we're like uh, there is a way you can do it? We're like, hey, we're about to declare war on the Spanish. Do you want to come help us? Every once in a while, they'll say, yeah, yeah, we'll come in and fight with them because they'll be, you know, they're you know around our colonies or whatever. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Looks like they're getting rid of a lot of stuff. So I don't know what's exactly going on with them yet, but uh, uh, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, it's not too much. Um, but you know, I could be totally wrong still. I know that privateer, when he gets in the dock, technically the Spanish can then attack us, which is not ideal, but, um, you know, we'll figure it out. Let's hit the reports for right now. See what we have here. So at Fort Orange, we need about a hundred horses in New Holland. We need four, uh, we need a hundred horses, but we might have that in New Holland. Um, no, we do, we, well, we do technically, but, you know, I didn't want to, uh, completely run our stock, dr or run our horses dry there because, uh, um, it'd be a little harder to build that back up. But uh, we got full dragoons here, so that's pretty good to see. Let's see where else we got them. Uh, New Holland is the one I just said that we don't really need, so let's try this again. And Fort Orange. Let's see what we have done to Fort Orange really quick before we fortify that guy and end our turn. Uh, we have 196 horses. Let's just go ahead and do it. Because it'll drop it down to 8. But I think once it hits 100 again, it'll go back up to 12. So I think we'll be just fine there. Because I think, and maybe this is me just thinking this. Um, but I think once we get the cannons everywhere... I think each place will be held by about two or three dragoons, so if we really need everybody, I'll probably pull both people from New Amsterdam um, and have just probably three or four guarding there and the rest of them will go out to attack. Same with Fort Orange. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to use as our main task force to try and take out the rest of the Spanish colonies. Ideally, at least. I don't know how well it's going to work. Ooh, we just got John Paul Jones. Uh, so that's another frigate we're going to get, uh, which is amazing. Uh, let's continue that turn. Continue your turn. Who do we want? Uh, let's get Cortez. Why not? I think he's actually good at attacking... Um, attacking... Um, Indians, technically. But, uh, you know... We really don't do that. I could be wrong. He could just add plus one to our, our soldiers, which would be even better. Alright, let's uh, get the uh, pirate unloaded first. So that we can get him back out into water. So that we can't get attacked anymore. That's why. That's also why I put him in a place where I know I can defend it really well, uh, because you know they're not going to blow through all those dragoons in uh, one turn. So, go. Uh, yes, the French uh, pri or uh, privateers back out there. So we got to keep a. Uh, I out for that. Yep, here they go. They might have only attacked once, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and orders through all this guy. Crap, I, want, I meant to move my private here. Well, that's going to end well for me. Yeah, I get the feeling the Spanish might be trying to surround me again. And if that's true, then we have a bit of a different issue. They just put a second frigate. Oh boy, this is not gonna this is not gonna go good for me. Uh, let's do a textile mill. Let's go ahead and start making more and more cloth as we can. Yeah, I get a feeling they uh they they've either tried to pin my yep, I can't this guy. This doesn't have any more. Oh dang it. So he literally does not have a path to uh well, that's not going to end well. Um, let's go ahead and you know, let's sail our guy over here. Well, at least our first guy. So we have a second frigate uh, that's sitting in the ocean right now. There he is. Let's go ahead and attack this privateer because he won't be able to make it back uh, in time. But uh, that's okay. Well, that worked out really well, didn't it? No. Francis, sure, Francis Drake is a great one to have in your Congress, but I think we have. But yeah, the, the Spanish are up to something. And as to what, I'm not 100% sure. But I got a feeling this might be the second Dutch and Spanish war coming up here very shortly. <laughs> Especially since I can't move my ships anywhere, which kind of stinks. They're, they're blocking our uh, harbor up here. And there is no way for my ships to get through there. Well, I, there's a way I can do it. Oh, dang it, I forgot to move that pirate ship. Dang it. <sighs> Alright, well, this is not looking great for me. So I'm going to do, I'm going to park my ship there. Suck it. What are you going to do? I mean, it's, at this point it's like, alright, cool. What, what, what can we do with, uh, alright, cool. I need him to fortify there. Uh, no orders. I'm gonna no order these guys. What I'm gonna do is the boat they were on. I'm just going to um, move it out one, and then load them all three up, and then pull the last three to New Amsterdam that way. It's the only way I can really see this how this would work out. So, and hopefully, the kind of the idea is that. Uh, um, 
these Spanish pull all their soldiers out of their cities, so they're a lot easier to kill. And I've noticed they also have a cannon there, which is not ideal. So let's move that guy out there and wait. No orders, no orders. Let's see, where's the privateer at? There he is. And he's back out in open water. Awesome. Un no, I'll have that guy wait there. <laughs> uh, nope. No, where's the cannon vent? That's what I'm more worried about. And wait, wait, and now we can go down to New Amsterdam. And so now I just have to get one of those guys to Fort Orange, and uh, technically I have to get one to the other place. Which I can do that pretty easily now, so. That cannon in the open, though, is so tempting to do, try to take out really quick. They're searching hard for our, our privateer, because, yeah, so they're already taking him out, which is uh, not ideal. Uh, so New Holland has uh, got 300 horses, so let's go ahead and make our dragoons once again and there we go so now new holland will have a or has a full force now of four veteran soldiers let's have this guy go out here and wait no orders for that guy no orders for that guy or him uh essentially you know what i'm going to go after spanish shipping again because even though they're upset with me uh, i don't really care i'm gonna go after them anyways Let's see here. That guy can no orders there. Nope. 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 Right, that guy can now go to that place. This guy can go to Fort Orange. That guy can fortify there. So with the artillery, though, I think I'm a little more. I feel a little more secure. Uh, just so that uh, if something does happen, um, I have a little bit to fall back to. I can kind of rebuild forces uh, in the towns and then go after them again. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this now because I'm going to have to take two dragoons from. Oh, cool. We got to free it back. Let's go ahead and zoom the colony here so we can produce more guns here. Uh, let's go ahead and do an arsenal. And why not produce more guns? Alrighty. Kind of go through. I'm kind of playing a little bit of a waiting game because I don't know exactly when I want to start attacking. Um, I just want to kind of say, all right. Oh, well, let's look at our how much how much we like force wise we have. So I don't want to pull anybody from here. So it'll be just from these three colonies in New Amsterdam. I'm going to keep probably at least three dragoons, maybe four. Let's let's keep four, so I can pull six dragoons from there. Uh, at Fort Orange, I can pull probably three dragoons from there, so that's nine. I'm gonna have to unfortify probably two of them because there's a Spanish guy, a Spanish soldier right there. They won't be leaving New Holland, but so there'll be, I'll have to unfortify three of those guys and attack with them, uh, just to get rid of that one guy. And while we're still around our towns, I'll make sure that all these guys are, um, you know, they're all dragoons before we actually go out to attack a Spanish town. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's, of our plan i think we'll be you know i think i think we'll be okay once essentially i'm waiting for that cannon to get to uh fort orange and so it should be another two turns give or take um this guy actually might be able to go out to start fishing again so he can so let's do that he doesn't produce much food but uh that's enough let's go ahead and have this guy sail out this way you know what? I'm gonna have him join my privateer um, down in down in the Spanish towns, just to show. Is, so if once this does break out, um, I'll have plenty of uh, I'll 
plenty of, um, you know, I'll, I'll start hitting their ships with you know, whatever I have. And I'll have one to defend our town. So, kind of the idea right now. It's a little bit of a risky maneuver, but, uh, you know, not really. Oh, wow. I think he just threw temper or 4% tax on us no matter what. Oh, no, he didn't. Cool. There's sometimes they do that, and that sucks. Um, but, uh, you know, thankfully it, did, it wasn't one of those times, you know. Oh, I had the wrong button there. Nope, nope, nope. Fortify. This guy's going to sail down this way. It's about as far as he can go there. Something's uh, It's really about to kick off, which is awesome. Well, it's awesome. It's still war. It's not great. But, uh, but unfortunately, I think the Spanish have kind of overstepped their boundaries a little bit. And uh, I think it's time to take him down a little bit of a notch or two. Well, I mean, ideally, we kick him out of the New World. That's kind of the ideal situation. But... Uh, whether we'll do that or not is yet to be seen. Maybe about two thousand dollars off that turn. That was pretty good. Let's go ahead and just move our cannon into town here and fortify it. All right. So next turn we will be uh, we'll be moving all of our troops out and uh, starting to attack all the Spanish towns here. So let's go get our troops ready first. So two guys are being unfortified from here. Clear orders and clear orders. So there's our two dragoons from there. In Fort Orange, we have, what, six dragoons? So we're clearing three of their orders. So one, two, and three. In New Amsterdam, we have, I think I was clearing uh, orders from six of them, I, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that leaves all one, two, three, four, five, six. At least four of them in a cannon. I, I'm okay with that then. Uh, so yeah, six of them uh, is going to go uh, from New Holland. So one, two, three, four. Come on. We got four. Five and six. All right. So there's all that. So if I go back to reports here, uh, there's six guys unordered here, three here, two in New Holland, and none from our town there. All right. So there's our military, I guess, active and ready to go. They, you know, we'll have to no orders through them this turn, um, just because I want to. Uh, I want to make sure that. Uh, it's, you know, we're ready, you know, next turn we'll be ready. So. So once again, we are on the, uh, the, the cusp of war with the Spanish again, because they didn't listen the first time. So we're just going to park our, our ships out there and wait till, uh, wait till the uh, cannon starts firing. It's going to be a... This one, I, I don't. I, they, it looks like they have a lot more, and they have more cannons here this time, which I'm kind of surprised. But if we can damage those rather quickly, um, I'll be okay with that. So. There we go. Some more population there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to save the game here, because if I don't. Um, something bad's gonna happen, and so, you know. Alright, so. I know they have cannon down here. Alright. Let's attack first. Break the treaty. Here it goes. Oh, that didn't end very well. Hold on. Let's try this again. Let's, uh, no orders through the wagon and stuff like that. Alright, let's save the game here. And so we can start pressing the attack. Might be a bit, a little bit of a bit, a bit of a hard fight there. So uh, let's go ahead and attack that guy. Here we 
go. Let's get the victories where we can get them. So there's one of their soldiers gone. Let's go ahead and save this game here. So we did take out one soldier so far. Yeah, I think that's the, that terrain bonus is, is really helping them. Alright, where do we attack first with these guys? That's a good question. Let's do this way. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, let's, let's try that again. Nope. Alright, well, I think there's actually a veteran soldier. Or... Either that, either they are a veteran, or they're just not showing it, or something like that. All right. Well, this is not any. Uh, let's see. Load game. Let's try that one. Let's try. You know what? Let's just try for the veteran. Why not? No, oh, maybe not. I don't know. It, it, it's tough because it's like, where, where do you? Oh, let's see. All right. That one. I'm just gonna. I think. I don't know how the game actually works programming wise, but I have a feeling some of these stuff it's like it's it's totally against you on how this works on some soldiers, which kinda makes sense, but there we go. There's a ship of theirs. A hundred muskets. That's gonna hurt them. Um, let's go ahead and strike out against this guy. Awesome. Strike out against that guy. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, well, that didn't end well for us. No orders on that guy. So we took out a couple of their soldiers already. That's pretty good. There we go, camera. Focus, please. Now, if the French were to come along and says, Hey, do you want some help? Uh, of course I would love some help. Yeah, I got a feeling that the artillery is going to help us quite a bit here. And I'm glad I put it in there, so. Frigate fight. Oh, yes. One frigate down. We're still making money off this, which is amazing. Well, we're making money off sales of stuff. All right. So, in one round, we only lost one Dragoon here. Um, so, actually, I want to move him to the front so I know where he's at. Make him a Dragoon again. Because that's why I wanted to put horses and um, muskets everywhere. So, when this happens, I can just make, I can just refit the Dragoons and not have to worry about things. Like here, 299, guess what? Boom, another Dragoon. And we're back fighting again. We're at full strength. And uh, don't worry about things. Which is amazing. Like this guy. A hundred muskets and a hundred trade goods. And we damaged their galleon. Alright, you know what? This cannon by itself. Let's go ahead and take that opportunity. Uh, because uh, it gets minus 75% by aiming out in the open. So let's just take it out. There we go. Artillery destroyed. All right, let's save it there because that was a pretty, uh, pretty good victory there. Let's go ahead and take this soldier out here. That got that guy can only swing his lantern at him, which is not great. There we go. Capture another colonist there. All right, let's save the game because we've uh, got rid of another soldier there. Let's attack this guy. He's now been routed. All right, let's save it here. This is also going pretty well for us, which is kind of surprising. No orders for that guy. Nope. Nope. Let's go ahead and just capture this colonist here. Um, you know what? We're going to keep... Well, you know what? Actually, if I... Let's go ahead and have that guy head to New Holland with those, because uh, if for some reason... That ship gets damaged, they can get the, the muskets right back. So let's just yeah, let's go ahead and just fix that real quick. Here and fortify. So so far we've actually I'd say put a pretty good beating on them so far. Not been perfect, but uh, you know, 
they're losing. I mean, they've already lost an artillery. They've lost a few soldiers. Um, losing quite a few horses and stuff like that, so that's always good. This is also one of the reasons I wanted to put uh, two fortresses out front here. Because plus 200%, and that's ludicrous. Ooh, look at that. So I think both of their frigates are out of action. Well, one sunk, the other one's out of action. They got Cortez now. Yeah. Which, yeah, I, since I'm not really attacking people, let's go with the political advisor, because why not? Uh, Zoom Colony, because I think that's where that guy was fortified at, is where, uh, yeah, that guy, yeah, that where that guy was fortified at, he kicked our lumberjack out, so now that he's not there anymore, we're just doing fine. Did we lose any dragoons that round? That's a good question. I don't know if we did or not. We did not, so there we go. We'll be doing just fine then. I also think uh, having uh, all veteran soldiers now helps a lot, uh, just because we can sit there and roll over some of these like because for some reason the spanish use like every colonist that they're not using in their towns as soldiers like that's a guy's a fisherman we're gonna capture him and now we have an extra fisherman we can send to that new town um let's go ahead and capture this guy real quick uh, that guy i'm having to do orders on him let's go ahead and capture this guy and then we'll have this guy ride down this way here. We we'll have him have have him help uh, take out some of the soldiers around Fort Orange. Now orders. Let's see if we can. Yeah, look at this. Absolute domination right now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and save this one. What kind of worries me though is that there's an artillery that's, yeah, that's that's fortified now there, which isn't great. Let's have these guys just fortified back there. Uh, let's also have this guy before I forget. Let's go ahead and have him be a dragoon, dragoon again. Uh, this guy, uh, let's go ahead and have him ride down this way, save the game first because that artillery is still out in that open. Um, so I, I don't want them to fortify that at all. But if I can destroy it beforehand, it doesn't really matter. Uh, fortify there. So this is the kind of the difference between the Spanish, like the Spanish forces and mine. The Spanish have looks like it had a lot of raccoons stuff like that, but a lot of them are just people that picked up muskets and horses, uh, where mine are actually trained to fight. So. This is probably not going to end well for them. Nor do I want it to end well for them. So, let's go ahead and zoom the colony there. Let's go ahead and just complete it. $12,000 right now. Not a bad way to start this. Um, no orders, no orders. Our ships are starting to get back because they're full on loot. All right, we can uh, probably see. Where do I want to go with this guy? You know what? I'm going to chase this artillery down and destroy it. There it goes. This guy is going to ride down here. Capture, or hopefully, oh, dang it. I was hoping that uh, that guy was not, uh, there's another no, not another soldier there. Well, no orders there because that guy has no more movements. Let's go ahead and save the game. No orders. This guy can just go in here. This guy, let's go ahead and see right here. Dang it, that, that fortified soldier is going to mess us up pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, um, we lost three in a row there. Let's go ahead and load the game back up. Let's go after. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, hold on. Load the game. Uh, that guy only has a, uh, looks like a three and one third movement left, uh, but I think we can you know, attack at full strength there, or not. Just eh, you know, all right. Well, let's not attack these guys right now. Um, 
No orders on that guy, too. Move him back into town. No orders on that guy. No orders on, no orders on that guy. This guy, though. Is that artillery there? Dang it, I forgot about that. Alright, hold on. I thought there was just a soldier there. But I guess there's not. No orders, no orders. Uh, let's see if we can just attack this guy over here. We'll get an extra fisherman, though. It's not bad. I don't want to start moving people around yet because I know once I do, they'll start tapping me again. And they'll, then they'll, uh... They'll just uh, try to retrain them as soldiers again, so it's not ideal. Try attacking this guy one more time here. Nope. All right, I'll have to reload that. I, I just, I understand they have a, like an advantage with terrain, but it just seems like that's. I I don't know. It seems like even with the veteran status, it should kind of even it out, and I should win, but because I also have the attacking bonus. I don't know. That's just odd. tools going here. I mean, not really, but uh, I guess we just build an armory here, I guess. Oh, we built kind of everything else here. That's kind of the problem. Alright, we need to get some of these guys back to work here. Get some more iron flowing back in here. Really, just our fur trapping that's kind of taking a beating right now. And to me, it's not ideal, but we, we can kind of live with it. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and ride this guy back up here. Save there. We can attack this guy here. Yep, cool. Got him captured, hopefully. Let's have this guy get back to New Amsterdam and re-equip with some horses here. Save the game here. Attack this soldier here. Cool, got him. Go ahead and just attack the colonist there. This guy can go attack that colonist. Not uh, doing too bad so far. We have just a non dragon down here. I know we're starting to run out of uh, horses here, so we will need to go get some horses from somewhere else. Nope, nope. So we have some, uh, hmm, well, that's an issue. That guy's full on, uh, muskets. Do we have a custom, we do have a custom house here already. All right, well, I guess I wasn't paying attention. All right, where do we want to have this guy attack next? Really what we need to do is have take out that artillery as fast as we can. Because if not, it's not going to end well for us. Look at that. It's a good, 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 uh, good attack there. Go ahead and save it there. Because that technically probably shouldn't have gone to us. But uh, that was uh, a lot easier though. So now he's probably going to make, make that guy unfortify and run essentially. I think once we clear out Fort Orange, I think we'll be in a better situation. Um, I think uh, then we can use those forces and start attacking uh, other places around, or start attacking their uh, more northerly uh, settlements. Kind of the idea, at least. Let's have this guy go to New Holland. He's going to pick up those uh, muskets. Um, 
because right now, I mean, technically the French can attack us in uh, New Holland, but and they're, they're they're kind of silly too. Um, so you know, this dragon. Let's go ahead and capture that guy. So once again, we're gonna have a lot of free colonists here soon. Which, to be honest with you, we probably could actually use those eggs as a better defense if we really wanted to. Alright, let's save the game. Start attacking these guys. No orders on that guy, no orders, no orders. Let's head south of this guy and see if we can attack him. Awesome. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's capture this colonist. Of course, we get routed. That was, uh, I hit something. Didn't mean to do that one, but uh, actually, it was actually all part of my master plan there. All right, so these guys, I think we can take, you know, we, with what forces we have there, I think we'll be just fine to take out. Um, to take out those tr uh, those um, troops that are still surrounding there. Do that. And so now we'll start focusing our efforts on trying to capture. It looks like Santo Domingo. So the French playing the music that they wanted to talk to us, but uh, don't know what happened there. So I'm just going to get a new Amsterdam and get a few more horses. Uh, so let's do that real quick. They've got 88, which is not ideal. Uh, so let's, let's hold off on that. There probably is more up in uh, New Holland, but uh, I don't have anywhere to, like, to drop them off to. So I guess what I could do actually here is take a bunch of them onto that frigate and then have that frigate run them down. Uh, so let's have these guys start working their way over towards um, the uh, that settlement first, because uh, yeah, I don't think you know a lot of these battles are going to be hopefully over relatively quickly. All right, let's move that guy down there. Let's go ahead and save this, because who knows what's going to happen here. There's still a fortified, uh, just a soldier though, so it's not like we couldn't defeat him. But uh, I had a feeling if we surround him though, well, that just didn't end well for us. Let's go ahead and load this back up. Also, since we have this space captured again, we can actually get one of our fur guys out working again. No orders. Let's have this guy move there. Save game. We might just have to lose a few. Cause if you look here, the only thing they really is they do get a 75% bonus because of the terrain. But we also have a plus one bonus because it's a dragoon. So it's like, eh. We'll have them start going up to New Holland. I feel like, you know, New Holland we kind of started as a food supply thing so we can get more people. But we're also using it kind of like as a prison, like a POW camp, which is uh, not ideal. But, uh, you know. Nope, I didn't want him to go to Fort Orange in New Holland. And I feel like that's far enough away from everything that they can, um, uh, that it doesn't have to worry about, uh, they don't have to be worried about reca being recaptured because they're so far away. Alright, so there's that. So let's get, uh,. That should be good there. New Holland, please. I'm going to start rid getting rid of people. And what I mean by rid rid of people, I mean I'm going to try to start deleting people. Because we're going to have... There is a limit, because, I mean, this is... This game was built in, what, 1994? There was a limit on how many things they actually could have on a map at once. And I got a feeling we're probably getting close to that. 
I don't know exactly how many it is, but I've seen people hit that before, so. Dang it. We're just having no luck. Alright, uh, let's do this. All right, well, I don't think this is a, a turn for us to attack, so let's just... No orders, everybody. And then this guy. There's two dragons over here, so let's start moving them along this river here. And I know technically we're, technically we're technically opening up a second front in this war, which is, you know... Not probably the brightest idea in the world. You know, people have tried it many of times and uh, didn't really quite work out. Go ahead and see if we can complete that one. So I'm going to turn there, zoom the colony here. Change, but now we can actually start producing artillery here, which would be perfect. Alright, now this guy can go ahead and unload the muskets into there. He can actually now go ahead and have the pirate actually move out um, with that, so we can, we'll be a little, little safer with that. Um, that guy can now go to Fort Orange. Cool. He's uh, now arrived there. It's going to start sailing back down and start looking for more shipping of the Spanish. You know, I do like South America to kind of start in because of the silver thing. But, like, if you have people on the coast that you want to go attack and you're on this northern part, it is a pain in the butt to get to the rainforest, which is fair. That's how it should be. But it, it is, it just, it seems like it takes forever to, if you have to fight on this continent at all. You know what, we're going to try, to, you know what, actually, no, we're not. Uh, this guy, we have horses here now. Let's just go ahead and give him more horses back. Um, you know what, we'll do that first. Dragoon. And Dragoon. Alright, cool. Let's get this. We just got a line of people being marched to uh, New Holland right now. This might take a minute, but, uh, you know. Doo -doo -doo. Cool. This guy actually. Can we drop the muskets off here? We cannot. Um, actually, you know what? There's probably a wagon train sitting here. Yep. There we go. Go to. Well, you know what? We don't really need to go to. We just start sailing this guy out of here. Save the game here. Let's attack this soldier. Yes. Gotcha. Finally got them down to no soldiers there. I'm going to wait that guy there because I don't know exactly. Um, I don't know exactly you know, like what they have there. So I want to have two or th at least two or three of them sitting there. Um, so that uh, we can just start all we can hit it at once. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is getting um, getting a ship ready so when we do um, take that town out, we can just resupply it with horses and guns because I got a feeling we're going to lose some stuff there, um, which is fine. I, I, I expect that, uh, but I think if we can get um, somebody there right away with you know 200 horses and 200 muskets, we can very easily. Um, we can very easily uh, resupply all of our soldiers and then keep fighting. At least that's kind of the idea. Alright, this guy, what do we got here? Um, you know what? Let's not, not go for the town quite yet. We got some more people we can capture. That's our third guy there. Um, I'd like to have a fourth, to be honest with you, but... Uh, don't think we're going to get that quite right this second, but, uh... Here 
we're pretty much pretty well protected against land invasions right now in that area. All right, let's sail this guy down this way. I, that is just crazy how many people we have. Um, let's go ahead and save the game here. I know these guys aren't attacking us directly, but they're you know if uh, we can help you know help the Indians out. You know, if they're attacking the Indians there, you know, we don't have to worry about it too much then. There we go. Capture that guy. There's their artillery sitting there, and that's what I was kind of worried about. But uh, artillery out in the open is never a good thing. Uh, cancel that action. I don't want to attack the French right this second. Dang it. We lost uh, Dragoon there. Let's go ahead and attack again. There we go. Got that artillery out of the fight. This actually is going, uh, you know, uh, when we actually started the war. I have to go back and look, but I think we've actually been doing pretty well so far. And uh, actually uh, just wiping out those people, which is awesome. Well, it's wiping the Spanish off, which is it's a good thing in, in a sense. Um, no orders. Let's have our duo sail down this way. There's some 12 furs. All right. Nailed it. Uh, this guys are going to uh, let's wait. Not yet, but uh, we are going to come back there soon. I think this guy can, or those guys can very easily take out those troops. So we are going to go ahead and start moving some more troops over to Santo Domingo, up and fortify. He's going to go to New Holland. Go to New Holland. This is a little bonkers, I'll be honest with you. Alright, let's get uh, this last guy taken out, and then we can really start pressing uh, towards their, uh, their towns. Or not. You know what? This is not going too well for us right this second. Oh, there we go. We finally hit hit the uh, right one. Now we need a lot more horses at Fort Orange. <laughs> but uh, we have horses somewhere. We gotta have horses somewhere. And it's probably in New Holland where they're all stuck. Um, well, we got some, I guess. Like that. Uh, can you? There we go. They have 21 there, which is not ideal, I'll be honest with you. Um, they have 96 here, and they have, how many up here? 276 up here. So let's get a ship to here, um, which will be no big deal. But because of this, we, really, we can really use the tools. Let's go ahead and have this guy start making tools as a blacksmith. There we go. Because um, we really don't need guns right now. Somehow, every one of our colony makes guns. There we go. But he's full on tools as well, so. But you know what? Well, since they're full on tools, why don't we just have these guys run in here for a bit? And have, we make 36 wood. We don't have any extra, though, so it's not really going to matter. Um, is there somewhere else we could put these guys? Uh, we put them in the church. Get some uh, more people coming. Right now, that'll work. Um, I think here we're also full on muskets, but I don't think we're producing muskets here. I think we're just kind of storing them there. All right. Well, this is not quite what we want. Let me go ahead and do the colonist thing and have this guy go to be a fur trapper. No orders to that guy. No orders. There's another ship here. Go. And you know what? Let's go ahead and save. We're gonna start attacking this town here. Oh! Oh, wait, there was an artillery there. I didn't expect that, I'll be honest with you. 
And I kind of, you know what? I probably should have expected it. Two artillery there. I'm took them both. Well, we've damaged both them, I should say. They're uh, a little more, uh, a little more well defended than I figured they would be. But that being said, we are uh, we are taking the fight back to them, which I should have done the first time. I'll be honest with you, but I was kind of giving them a little bit more of a break than I probably should, and now I'm not giving them any breaks. And um, yeah, they're, I'm, ideally I want to wipe them off the uh, continent uh, or the New World if I can. It's kind of the idea, at least. This guy, let's save it. All right, cool. They're they're showing damage artillery now instead of just regular artillery, which is good because that means um, they don't have any. I think that's like their biggest thing there. So cool. We got a routed soldier now. Hopefully they'll move that soldier and we'll take him out next turn. We do need quite a few horses down at uh, Fort, Fort Orange. That's where the bulk of our force is right now. But without any horses, it's a little bit difficult to uh, to fight. Uh, nope. No pirates. But you're going to die. Well, they've run out of ore here. Why is that? Oh, because that guy was uh, in there. Uh, you know what we could do is actually create... Oh, we could produce more tools here, which actually is not the worst idea in the world. Um, yeah, for some reason, that guy was... Uh, I don't know why that guy... Unless there was somebody fortified there. It could have been very, uh, very, be a reason why. But let's go ahead and have that guy be a carpenter for a bit, because we could use a little bit faster building. Uh, did it say New Holland? It did. We need a we need a ship. Uh, go to New Holland. I'm gonna take all your horses uh, there. there we go. I know it's only producing ten or eight now, which is not a whole lot, but uh, you know it's what we you know it's it's something that we need desperately. So we'll park that guy out there. All right, well, let's see if we can maybe capture uh, Santa Domingo this turn. Destroyed their artillery, so that's good. Let's save the game here. Oh, it's just a statesman. We roll right through him. All right, what do we got here? Um, honestly, they really hosed this town. Um, Wow, they really did. All right, they only have docks here, which is not great. Um, they have a veteran soldier here. How in the world? Well, let's make him a colonist. Because that is the uh, that is the uh, a veteran soldier. I don't know why. I I don't know if that's a little glitched or what, but uh, yeah, that that shouldn't be like that. All right, let's, uh, number one, get all the statesmen back where they should be. Number one, capturing a place with all statesmen is rare, like super rare. Uh, but somehow they did, um, or we did, so. Uh, let's have uh, these guys, just, we'll have them go into Santo Domingo just to help reinforce that place a little bit so that uh, they don't try to uh, capture it back. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to have our Pioneers start moving uh, a little bit. Um, let's have this guy sail this way. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start blockading these towns. Uh, no orders. No orders. Move into Santo Domingo. No orders. No orders. This guy will have... Oh. Uh -huh, never. Never. No peace, please. Capture your colonist. There we go. So now their soldiers are either dead or captured, which is yeah, that's pretty good for me. 
Uh, so the thing, the next thing I want to try to do is I want to try to resupply all of our troops that we can with horses. Um, we have that ship coming over from New Holland. And hopefully I do that. Send colony here. We've got a new cargo of horses ready here. Um, let's go ahead and we'll produce a college or a dry dock. Let's do a dry dock because we can start producing ships then. Or once we get a shipyard, we can start producing ships. But to get a shipyard, we need to get the dry docks first. So let's have this guy head down to New Amsterdam next. Here's what we're going to do. We have a wagon train here, and it's got muskets on it. Give that to the ship. We're going to have you load up with a bunch of horses. No orders on that guy. This guy's going to go down to Fort Orange. That should resupply, what, four troops with horses? I think that's all we have here, so even better. Dragoon and the last guy here. Add a dragoon. All right. So we got all of our military. Oh, I think we have all of our military back up where they should be. Yes. Cool. So that works out. Let's go ahead and save. We'll save it here just so that uh, I don't have to do all that again. Um, so now we can start moving our guy to or our guys towards. Um, Ooh, ooh, 100 horses. That's going to help us uh, quite a bit. Um, let's have this guy just move to San, or Santo Domingo. We'll have him fortify there for now. Because um, I don't want to have him keep, you know, telling him no orders. Makes the, the uh, turns go a little bit faster that way. This guy can start heading towards Santo Domingo. Well, he's going to get captured, isn't he? Not ideal. All right. Well, that kind of stinks. Get that guy parked there. I just realized that there's another dragoon sitting outside of our city there. Nope. All right. So yeah, there's one city down. Hopefully we won't uh, won't take too much longer. We'll get uh... yeah. I saw that coming pretty quick when I saw there was a soldier out there. I'm gonna recapture him. That's no big deal. But if I complete it, what I also need to do? There's a ship in, in this vicinage. That's what it is. Uh, this guy needs to head back to Santa Domingo is actually closer so we can do that it's kind of the nice thing since we're taking out more and more um, colonies that are closer we can actually just you know we can just sit there and uh, send them to closer places now fair enough they probably won't have a warehouse to deal with all that but that's fair there we go that guy can go there and wait that guy can go there. That guy can go here. These guys are going to go to Santo Domingo. Um, I think there's uh, there's one guy, or there's enough tools there we can kind of resupply that area pretty easily. I'm going to have this guy just barge outside of Havana, so um, we can keep those, or we can keep uh, keep their ships out of there, hopefully. Let's have this guy right up here. go. We'll have another colonist captured here shortly. There we go. We'll have them start moving out this way towards Santo Domingo. That's probably where I'll just build a road. I'll probably do that next. Uh, when the pioneers get there, because a lot of it's already, looks like a lot of it's already been kind of plowed or something like that, and there's a road already started there. We can just start building a road out to Santo Domingo to get troops there faster and supplies there faster. Start using that as a, a as a closer base to um, to actually staging our attacks, you know, lower down in, in the state. So we just got Thomas Paine. Uh, Thomas Paine, um, when Paine enters the uh, Continental, Con Continental Congress, Liberty Bell production in all colonies is increased by a value of the current tax rate. 
So they go up by 6%. I think that's how that works. Um, we'll go with Simon Boulevard. You know, good. He uh, that's who they named the streets after, the boulevards. You know, I, I really don't know that, but I think it's something like that. I think he is like French or something like. That. I mean, sounds very French to me, but uh, I could be totally wrong. Yeah, come to think about, it, I do do really need to get uh, some artillery in uh, Santo Domingo. Uh, but I mean, I got a lot of dragoons there right now, so I think there's another soldier fortified there. Where did they get all these soldiers at? I mean, fair enough. It's just colonists. I know it is. But. Go to New Holland. Um, do I want to really press the issue down there? Honestly, what I should do is leave two dragoons there. Just to, just to clear out anybody. Um, this guy needs to go to New Amsterdam and pick up some new horses. Let's do this. Let's head down this way. Save game. And attack. There we go. I was trying, my dad sent me a text. And I was trying to figure out what he meant by that. And then it kind of dawned on me that joke was pretty terrible. Cool. We can get. It looks like we can get troops to Santo Domingo in about two turns if we really wanted to. Um, so it's not the worst thing in the world, uh, but I feel, still think a road. I want to connect all these eventually because when you declare independence, they can land anywhere in your port towns. They'll probably land at your big ones, but ideally, oop, there's some uh, throwing some uh, silver in the uh, the harbor there. Um, there's some lumberjacks actually available in um, Europe. And you know what? European status. Uh, galleon, yes. There we go. Look at that. We got a ship in. Uh, got a ship in Europe already. All right. So we need a carpenter. Let's go ahead and buy a carpenter. Um, that'll get us enough. Let's see here. That'll kind of. That's the basic of Santo Domingo completed. Uh, we have two oceans there. We already have one fisherman. So it wouldn't hurt to get a second fisherman there. Savannah, we're going to do a lot of sugar here, which is not ideal, but uh, since we already have one, but uh, can we actually meet this guy a uh, soldier again? It won't let us. That's unfortunate. You know what I might just do, though? Clear his specialty. And then... Oh, go here. Come on. More. Won't let me make him a, uh, a soldier or a dragoon. That's really odd. I don't know why. Because, I don't know. That's this the he must be a uh, conscientious objector. I think that's what they call him. Um, oh well. Pioneers are now in. Um, there I am. All right, well, I think I'm back, hopefully. Um, I had some, I, my computer decided to lock up. Um, there was a big Windows update last night, and usually when uh, that happens, uh, usually the next day or two, my computer does not want to cooperate very well. So I was uh, went to go launch the game again, and Steam has an update. So now I'm downloading the Steam update. Everything seems to be going just swimmingly right now. It's not great. So right now it looks like Steam's starting up now. So hopefully in about another minute or so we'll have the game back going because this game does not take any time at all to load. So got that going here. Let's go to the library. I'm trying to find Civilization once again. DOS box and. Also notice that it hasn't really come back yet. Maybe it has, and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, hold on here. Well, it says I'm live. 
but it's not showing anything about it. I usually help. Let me see if I can get back on my phone here. Looks like, yeah, it looks like I, I've got it back going here. I said, if you guys are hearing me but not seeing me, you'll probably just need to re, uh, re reload your page or reload the, the app. Uh, either way, should work. Uh, you know what? I'm looking at the most current version. Or let's see, there's an Autumn of 1690. I think that's the one we we're probably closest to. So let's go ahead and, and get the uh, game back up here. Uh, but you know what? It didn't save any of my settings. So I'm going to have to switch it back over uh, to the monitor capture. And the game just crashed. Well, it seems like everything wants to go wrong today. And that's just great. Let's do that. Let's try this one more time here. There we go. We can see it now. I love how up, up in this corner they actually had the NVIDIA thing for like the gameplay stuff. It's like there's no way you need to optimize <coughs> anything for this game because uh, even at the lowest setting of this graphics card, it would have no issues uh, running this game at all. All right, let's get back to it then. Looks like that guy just arrived at Santo Domingo. Our, pri our, our pioneers are just now getting there, so that's all fine and dandy. I think what I was saying before, I don't remember, I don't know where it cut out on me, uh, but essentially what I want to do is I, I want to um, uh, keep two Dragoons in Fort Orange, just so that if they do try to sneak any more people around there, um, oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to do, uh, just in case they try to sneak anybody around, and look at that, the, the French have now surrounded me completely, um, just in case they do want to try to sneak anybody around us, we can keep them or uh we can keep them kind of at bay so we'll be fine still can't make this guy a uh a dragoon which is odd and i think same with over here yeah we can't make him a dragoon at all which is odd um i fear we would be able to but that being said we can actually probably put him out in the harbor we can't yet because we don't have a dock uh we can actually make him um start cutting some lumber down so when our um, other uh, galleon gets in, uh, we have a little bit of wood stored up, you know, just so that uh, we can start building some stuff. Let's just go up to here. Oh, that guy got rotted. That guy also got rotted. What in the world? Load. Uh, let's just no order these guys for right now. Um. I see a little bit of an issue. There's a Spanish cannon coming up. Uh, so we'll just have him be met by some dragoons. Um, I think that guy's actually one of the ones we want to keep back, isn't it? No. Uh, we actually had that we had or we had one extra that guy there. He was an extra or he was an extra that um, he had horses. So we had him run into uh, Amsterdam to, or New Amsterdam to get horses and then he can join the rest of the guys in Santo Domingo. Let's see what's going on here. Now we can repair ships here, uh, but I do want to put a uh, shipyard here and we can start producing our own ships. Uh, let's see, yep, Santo Domingo is already up 62%, which is pretty crazy. Now we can produce a lot more guns here, which I don't know why we would, but we can. Um, let's build a cathedral here, and that's probably the last thing we'll need to do before we start building ships and things like that in Amsterdam. Privateer uh, is here. I uh, can't really unload the horses, which is unfortunate, but I can unload them into that ship and then send them over to like New Amsterdam to help kind of start you know, rebuilding their horses. So I'm okay with that. I can do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Have this guy go to New Amsterdam.
keep no ordering through these guys. Let's get another fisherman in here. Now, Santa Domingo been plowed cleared. It has not been. So let's do that. Uh, let's keep a little more tighter look on uh, Havana there. Uh, let's get this guy to help attacking down there. I don't know what the French are really doing there. I, I don't know what their goal is, but uh, besides to be annoying, but uh, you know. Yes. Let's see if we can attack it. Let's see if we get two for two. Yes, look at that. There we go. Alright, we'll save that. So that was a good, uh, good result there. This guy's now running down the river there to help attack with those three dragoons. Um, kind of the other issue, though, is that uh, we really don't have any more dragoons for defense right now. Any tools there? Um, I mean, what we could do is uh, we have guns galore. Um, we can actually arm six... Uh, what we could do actually let's do this uh, one two three four five six um, and we'll have all these guys come down here we'll have them armed with muskets so we will need some more muskets here shortly so probably this next turn coming up where we'll need some more muskets um, essentially what I want to try to do is I'm going to move these guys down here and make these guys all dragoons they're not going to be the greatest dragoons in the world but they'll be good enough to help defend you know santa domingo for right now and if we have to get if we happen to get them into a fight um we actually can um level them up to veterans and i mean six more veteran you know, soldiers is never something to laugh at so um that'll be nice to see We'll have one guy go down here and start plot clearing. Uh, there's that guy there. No orders. Uh, that guy came up here and fortify. Uh, we got these guys running a little scared now. I think we can get our silver miner back going. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this guy we got a couple things me uh, messed up right this second. Let's get him going back to doing furs. Oh, come on. Food, please, over there. Furs right there. And then we get our silver miner. Back making more silver. I think Fort Orange is okay for now. And this guy go here and wait. Or no orders. And then there are no orders. Um, while I'm thinking about it, though, let's go ahead and head over here. More... Dragoon. Oh, uh, not a gunsmith. Don't really need any more guns. We do need some more dragoons. This will pretty much kind of wipe out our horses here, which is not ideal because this is where we're creating most of our dra or most of our horses at. Um, so we might have to pull a few um, from elsewhere, um, but you'll see here shortly. attack their pioneer. I don't know if we killed him or if we captured him. I would have rather have captured him if we could. Because that is a useful trade. I wonder where that galleon is. I don't know if we ever... I, I don't know because uh, it crashed. I don't know if we ever bought the galleon. So let's go check. And uh, if we haven't, then... Um, Colony, buy, complete it. There we go. European status. Yeah, we never bought in this in this version of reality. We actually never bought that galleon. So let's go ahead and buy the galleon. Recruit. Uh, nothing we really need there. We do need a carpenter, and we will need another uh, fisherman, and that'll help kind of start that town at least. Um, it won't be perfect, but you know. There we go. So, how many horses do we have here? We have 86. Well, well, let's 
let's just leave them there for now. I guess what we could do is the, the men that are remaining here, we can kind of drop. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that was our farmer. I don't know why he all of a sudden just jumped uh, to become a soldier really that quick. We can drop a couple of these veteran soldiers down to... Um, or veteran dragoons to veteran soldiers. Um, and then we can actually have them... Uh, um, have their horses um, keep making more, I guess you could say. Um, just so that uh, we don't, you know, run, you know, we don't, you know, we can have a, you know, a good uh, amount of horses in New Holland. We can start making uh, more elsewhere as well. So, kind of the idea right now. Uh, let's have, there's plenty of tools here, so let's just make this guy another pioneer again. Uh, we got plenty of wood going right now, so let's go ahead and have this guy start. You know what? Let's have this complete this dock. I don't know why we couldn't. Um, this guy. Plow clear. He's already got it done. Amazing. Chase on the artillery. And it's destroyed now. No orders from that guy. Uh, no orders. No orders. Let's chase down this colonist. Captured. Um... Yeah, you can kind of see why that this this is starting to turn bad for him because uh, 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 this guy actually needs no orders. Or no orders all these guys for right now because we don't have um, we don't have a ship for him. We'll use we we'll use the galleon and load all six of them up and drop them off. We'll probably use three in, um, Santa and Mingo in the. Uh, three in the next one. I don't know what the next one's called, but uh, we'll see. Uh, cool. San Domingo now has some docks, so we can now actually get our fishermen out fishing. I can use a warehouse, especially if we're using this for our privateering efforts. Let's go ahead and just complete that. That's no big deal. All right, cool. We already got another artillery here. Um, how much are we looking here or for orange wise? How many? It only has one artillery. Let's go ahead and have it fortify there. Once that comes up, of course. Privateers got some cargo out here. 100 tools. All right, we can take that. Go out here and wait on that guy. No orders to these guys. Uh, this guy can start actually building a road, and he's already got it done. Awesome. That's what I love about. Uh, pioneers like that you can they can literally just do things instantly it is amazing uh this guy is gonna have to go he's gonna have the long walk back to new holland no orders no orders i'm gonna, I'm gonna have those guys sitting there so when we do see uh, uh somebody coming we can uh Yeah, this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this guy has five, and there's actually another soldier here waiting. That's probably going to be our sixth, isn't it? Probably at one point. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make him a dragoon. Go ahead and actually make all of our veterans here just soldiers, so we can use those horses. And fortify, fortify. Uh, this guy is going to start the road to our other town here. So next turn, what we'll do with that guy is that uh, we'll load the last dragoon up on, onto him and ship them over to Santo Domingo. That'd be pretty, uh, hopefully be pretty easy. Ooh, that guy's, uh, that guy's, uh, a little close to that pioneer. I don't like it. Let's go ahead and do this because we, we will need the uh, room for that eventually. No orders. No orders. No orders. Let's slip that guy down there and attack him. There we go. Wait on him. We don't have a place producing any tobacco products, which I'm kind of surprised at, but, uh, you know, maybe that's just me. 
know what? We have nobody to move here. Let's clear all these guys' orders. Hit the wrong button there. Clear orders and clear orders. Oh, he's already put a road there. Let's put a road there then. Yeah, I mean, preferably I'd like to keep my uh, pioneer, so let's go ahead. Let's go. Hopefully we can take him out pretty quickly. Uh, you know what? Let's start moving towards Havana. This guy's going to go to Santo Domingo. That would be its carpenter, its lumberjack, and another farmer if we need it. Let's go ahead and put a road there. Finally, we got the last guy there. He's going to go to Santo Domingo. So that'll be, you know, enough for uh, two towns worth of defense. So that's good. That soldier is now gone. Fortify him there and get him there. All right. I was just saying that France might... Uh, break away from our new France would break away from old France so it's kind of neat I mean I think we're getting close to that point where we could um, but uh, ooh. it's not good that we got uh, got knocked out there you know what um, let's do a uh, hmm. let's do a fort here because especially if we're going to have to defend this town. Um, we need to turn there. That's awesome. We have more horses here. Um, let's unfortify this guy so we can use him against the Spanish. Because, uh, you know, I don't think they really haven't had too many ships are up and around our area. But uh, they have had quite a few down here. That uh, it's just, it, it's just going to help them, so... I don't know what galleon that is. That's got to be the one with the soldiers on it. So, start making these guys. We'll, let's set them there for now until we kind of regain uh, our forces there. So, we'll kind of congregate them all here and we'll launch an attack. New Holland here. Yeah, so those guys are still trying to get down to Santo Domingo. Go. So all of our soldiers are now there. Uh, this guy needs to head out. The veteran. That guy needs to fortify. 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 I'll move these guys down to here. And that'll be it for the next town. We can you know, defend that town too. It's kind of the idea at least. I don't know if it'll work out, but we'll see. Oh, the French are uh, doing stuff. They got their music going. Havana doesn't look like it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be pretty easily because uh, it doesn't look like there's a a lot there, anyways. So. guys rest there to have this guy sail down this way my mouth is getting like super dry right now which is not great but uh i didn't have i didn't bring uh i forgot to bring my i had a water bottle but uh i actually got to bring my my big like turvis cup upstairs so this is not great so this guy needs to head down this way I'll have the guy wait there, and that guy wait there. I'm gonna order for both those guys. I'll have him wait. I'm gonna have him wait. I'll say wait. It's not we're we're, we're telling the guys just not go anywhere. All right, we can start building up Santa Domingo a little bit. Uh, let's get this guy being a free colonist. Have him start building that. Let's have this guy start clearing some lumber. 
Um, we already have, is this guy a master trigger planner? He is. Uh, so that's good to see. Uh, we do have, we do have a schoolhouse. I don't know if he can be a teacher yet, though. He cannot, so you have to have a college. So I, uh, so let's go ahead. Ooh, let's never mind on that one. That's a little more expensive than I thought it would be. Uh, but we can have some f more farmers out here just producing more food. Maybe we can produce more horses, so if we need, uh, we can always have more of those guys. Um, let's only build a road around that town, so. But we also have an ex another fisherman over here, so that's always good. All right, um, this guy needs to go down here with the rest of them. No orders on that guy. He needs to go to New Holland. We'll probably have the, the uh, prisoner go to New Holland, too. Let's go ahead and complete this one. Oh, we've got Simon Boulevard. Let's see. Uh, so, Sons of Liberty memberships increase in all my colonies by 20%. Yeah, I, I said kind of funny that, you know, that guy was, you know, what they call boulevards after. But they, he actually did have something. He, he's actually, uh, the country of Bolivia is named after him. So, you know, eh, you know, maybe that's just a little more. I also noticed that my camera was moved back. You know what? We're going to try it here. Because really that's just covering, or that's covering up what unit I currently have selected. So, it, it's not like the end of the world. Um get the sugar out of here and the trade goods and the fur get that out of here and head to uh, New Amsterdam with it these guys are coming down this way you know what we can attack that dragoon let's go ahead and do that Right, got him down just to a colonist, which is pretty good. There we go. One less soldier we have to worry about now. I was kind of hoping we could uh, like bombard the town, but I know I know later on you can or like the. Uh, the governments can, but uh, fortunately not. So we'll just, uh, you know what? Do a little ship battle here. Look at that. Get that guy up there. No orders. No orders. I can probably just fortify those guys now, to be honest with you. I'm gonna keep these guys back just a little bit, just so that I know where they're at, because um, I don't want them. I don't have anybody, anybody on that one. Um, just so that I don't get them mixed up with the main force. That's kind of the idea. Get these guys over this way. He needs to go to New Holland. I don't know why the French are surrounding that town. Just that one town. I don't know why, but they are. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, not a bad one to have. Let's go ahead and change this one to something else. I'll do a schoolhouse here because we have some fishermen we can train. Um, only, and we also have cotton planters we can train too. So, Hold on. Time out. Did I not have a, a Master of Lumberjack in uh, Visage? I did. Alright. So that just probably needs to be cleared, but there's soldiers still in there, and I really don't want to deal with them right now, so. Fair enough. No orders. No orders. A lot of wagon trains we really don't need, but uh, our privateer is back up and going, so that's always good to see. Go ahead and unload all this into 
here. We can probably just go ahead and set, sell the trade goods. I mean, they're not going to be worth much anything, but uh, we'll get a little bit out of them. Ooh, artillery piece there. Um, let's go ahead and move our guys up to here. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to try this. I don't know how well it's going to work. This seems like a pretty easy victory for us to do. Um, is. Hold on here. No orders. Those guys are all going. Uh, road there, please. So there's, oh, there is some shipping out here. Ooh, that was 100 muskets. And they're mine now. Awesome. Uh, so here's kind of the idea. First of all, I'm going to surround the town because that's how they always did us. Um, like that. And they always make some really weird movements, so there we go. Alright, so here's my kind of idea. There's an artillery sitting down here. And we all figured out that artillery out in the open is not great. But what if I use these guys exactly? So those guys can actually get promoted to veterans rather easily. And just like that, I have two more veteran soldiers, which is amazing. A road, please. Uh, so now we we only have one guy that's not a veteran soldier, which is yeah, it's not bad. Um, let's see, this guy needs to get a new home. So that was uh that was pretty good. Um, I didn't know if that would work or not because, but I mean, typically it's a fight. I mean, it's a pretty uneven fight, but it is a fight nonetheless. So if you're playing this game and you have George Washington already, the uh, best thing you can do is just uh, find the enemy artillery and just blow it up with two of your people, and you'll have two more veteran soldiers. No orders on that guy. Nope. All right. So now we're ready to attack uh, what town this is. It's covered up by all my people, so let's just... They've got artillery, though. That's not great. Right, we've already lost two guys, so let's load this game back. This might not be as easy, uh, because... I mean, right, I mean, they have 100%, so they'll have like a 10, and they'll have like a 6. No. Not great. We'll try it one more time. All right, we damaged it that time, so that's good. I'm okay with losing, um, or just getting a guy demoted down to a soldier if it means we can uh, actually have some progress made. There it goes. So there's one artillery down. Let's see if they have any more out there. Let's go there, but a road. This guy's actually going to go head down to Santo Domingo. Oh. And we'll just march into the town here. Um, does it, it does not have a stockade here. Uh, that means we can actually abandon the town if we want to, and I think we will. But you know what? Oh, we can make a dragoon out of one of these guys, can't we? Yeah, we can. There we go. So, technically, we just abandoned that town. Awesome. Well, awesome is an awesome can... <laughs> the, they, they want peace so bad, but uh, I'm not going to give it to them. But this one's going to be a little bit harder because it is actually is a fort now. This guy's going to run down this way. We're probably going to need all the troops that we can muster, so... Even the ones we were going to use for town defense, we will probably now use for, uh, use to attack this place. Because once we capture, this is Isabella, once we capture Isabella, there actually is a road all the way down to the next, I think, two or three settlements. So, it's not too bad. Oh, no, the Incas, no. All right, cool. Actually, that's awesome to see, because now I can just do this and have a bunch more horses there that we uh, can use. Now, I saw something on here that I'm going to try. I'm going to be a little greedy, to be fair. Uh, I'm going to clear the orders of these two soldiers here. 
No orders, no orders, no orders. Let's start sealing our privateer around here. That guy's just gonna have to march, which is unfortunate, but uh, I really have no place to, to get horses to him anywhere, so it's gonna probably let's park a ship out just outside Isabella. Uh, Isabella there because you know I don't have any ships going into or out of there because they can be trying to move troops or something like that around there. There's a road there. That's not what I wanted to do there. So here's what I wanted to do. I'm going to save the game here. There is a Spanish soldier down here. And unfortunately they did take out the Incas. I was trying to save them from that. Dang it. Game. Uh, but you can kind of maybe see what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, a little greedy. I mean, fair. But... You know, $8,400, that's a lot of money. And, I mean, how many muskets can you buy with that? So, very tactical move there, I, I think. Um, so, we'll see how that pans out. I'll be honest with you, it's probably not going to end well. But, we can get a new Holland. Uh, there, fortify... You see all the colonists of the towns we've took, we've taken over, just slowly moving across the northern uh, South America as they go to New Holland. Wow, that guy ran! I didn't expect. I thought I would figured he would have fought back, but he did not. Alrighty. Um, hmm. What do we do now? Well, we can start producing more. We, let's do some more artillery. Uh, we could use that. So let's get the blacksmith back in his shop so we can start getting some more tools in there. But let's also get this guy in making hammers with that carpenter. Hey, as a matter of fact, we probably should do this. Um, let's get this guy to be a teacher. Uh, this guy, we're going to go ahead and clear his specialty because we really don't need scouts anymore. We'll have this guy clear his specialty. We don't really need an expert or a miner. We'll have this guy clear his specialty. Uh, we really don't need a gunsmith right this second. So I'll make him a colonist. We'll keep him there, but we really don't need him right now. Here's kind of my idea, though, is I want to make two carpenters as fast as I can. So if I have three of them, even better. But if I can make three carpenters, um, we're still at 100% liberty and everything like that. I think they get what? I think this guy can make 12 or 15. Make 16 hammers. So, well, fair enough, the lumber is not really there right this second. Let's go to places we can actually, uh, like in New Holland, they, makes, they make a lot more lumber up here because they have the broadleaf stuff. And we could use another carpenter there. So, it may not be the worst idea in the world to try. How are they doing on horses up here, too? They're already up to 100 or 216. Take down to 10. Let's do that. Have this guy go to. I want him to go to. Um, we'll drop one off at New Amsterdam and one off in Fort Orange. Just so they have them. Um, we'll have that guy go up this way. We'll have, a, we'll have a galleon waiting for him in New Amsterdam. Um, just to. Um, uh, just to take that away. We'll, uh, we'll park him there. We know that guy is the one taking the uh, the galleon of money away. Yeah, I don't know how uh, hard this is, or how this is going to go because this this could be a hard fight um, for Isabel. All right. Let's do that. I think we're pretty much ready to attack Isabel, though, so it's not like, uh, it's going to be a huge deal, but, you know, it's still going to be a fight, because it, it's a fortress, I wasn't really expecting that, uh, from them. We have, although we do have quite a few troops there. 
to be honest, but uh, I think now all of our troops are there. So uh, next turn, I'll start uh, kind of the siege of Isabel. I don't know if they're trying to move troops into or out of it, but, uh, you know, either way, I think uh, we'll be okay. Uh, this guy, road, please. All right, save game. Let's save it right here. We do have artillery there. Don't doubt that. Cool, and that guy's leveled up to a veteran now. Awesome. Don't see any ships around here, though. Um, well, let's just kind of sail. I'm just trying to sail around and see if I can find any ships. All right, this guy, I'm just going to have him wait there because he, I mean. Yeah, he, he's still okay, but I guess it's more movement than anything else. Well, that didn't work out well. We'll need quite a few more. Uh, do I have any tools in I don't. We'll need quite a few more horses in uh, Isabel once we're done. Goodness sakes. Alright, we're we'll about to reload that because there is no way that damaged artillery should to withstand that much damage. <sighs> Come on. This should be. You can look at this. So, doing the math here. So, 100% 6, and that should be what? 9? Uh, okay. Half of this is what? Half of 3 is 1.5. Well, we can double at 6. It's, it's okay. So, I mean, it's still... There we go. I waited a little bit, and it seemed to take it. Uh, this guy needs to go to New Amsterdam. Let's save the game here because I don't know what else they have, especially since they just had the sol they have soldiers here. Dang it! All right, well this might not end well for us here. All right, two losses in a row. Let's load the game back up here. Got a Spanish soldier out of that was good. Guys, we'll have them go back up and fortify here. Save the game. Dang it. Oh, come on, people. Alright, there's one, another Spanish soldier routed. Not great with the uh, Siege of Isabel. Of course, they just brought a bunch more people in. Although, our town produced a schoolhouse. That's pretty neat. And then, yeah, I think it had to be a college for, uh, for that. It is a lumber mill, that's what I thought, but, uh. Go ahead and unload this guy here. So we're gonna need probably most of those horses, unfortunately. You know what? Let's do this. Let's swap those around. We'll have them start building up horses here. And then once we get to a, uh, I get to a place where we can actually use them, we can. Uh, no orders on that guy. Unfortunately, I think we'll have to start using this guy because. Um, we just don't have the troops anymore. Let's save the game. And then right here. 
I mean, they still get the same bonuses. They just don't get uh, the same or um, the same movement. So, yeah, I got a feeling this might be a little harder than I thought it would be. Here we go. Look at the dragoon. See if we can do anything with, with the dragoon. Cool. There's one Spanish soldier gone. Do we get? See, I don't know if we get a bombardment bonus. Um, if they're there, I don't know. I've never tried it. We're gonna try it now. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. I didn't actually look if we got a, uh, a bombardment bonus or not. Oh, we do not. All right, so I'm not really worried about that too much then. We're taking it to the Spanish, though, so it looks like they've lost uh, quite a few people. All right, it's going well so far. I don't know how many soldiers they have here. This would be the one good thing to have a scout for. They actually can go in and see how many troops they have. But, uh, yeah, I just don't quite have that yet. Ooh, that might, oh, nope. And he's just hardened to veteran status. Awesome. Didn't expect that, but all right. I think now all the people that were, um, just kind of normal soldiers now, veteran soldiers, which is awesome. Now that guy can now head out to uh, to the old world, and that's another eighty six hundred dollars for us. I might just pick up six dragoons, <laughs> just to help with the war effort. Yeah, oh, defeated the uh, that there. Yeah. Oh, no way. The Dutch colonists beat the, the soldier there. They are running a lot of troops out of there. That's a bit of a surprise. Uh, this guy, actually. Needs to go to Amsterdam, please. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by pirates. Can you see how many, like, just people they ran out of there? There was a lot. I was a little surprised. But unfortunately, we really can't chase him down right now because we don't have the dragoons to do so. Or I, or I would at least try to capture one or two of them. But, uh... I get a feeling they're starting to realize that, that uh... This might be a, a, a hope or a, uh... A no-win situation for him, which is, you know, good for me, but, uh... You know, go. They got a lot of horses here already. That's pretty good. I really need to get that frigate back out into open water. All right, they got to be getting close. I don't know how many soldiers they would have here, but there's there's a can't be that many more. Especially none of them are fortified now. There we go, come on, yes. Holy cow, look at this. Talk about a um, food production place. That's all they were doing here, and producing guns. This was literally just a soldier building place. They, they would spawn a new, new colonist, and uh, um, and to produce uh, food. That's all they were doing here. That is crazy. I don't know how they were getting the ore. Because there's no... They're producing guns here, but there's no ore to do so. Unless they just dropped it off. Which is possible, but... Uh, okay, this guy can actually be just kind of a colonist. This guy can go out and cut lumber down. Because um, this is all plowed, pl or that's tropical forest still. 
That actually might be bad or for wood. Hold on, let's move this guy over here. That's about the same. Plowed, already plowed, plowed. So yeah, these are the only two things I could still, I mean, technically I could actually, I mean, this is all gonna be sugar, isn't it? Yeah. So essentially what I'll do is I can just put that farmer back out there and have him do food. Um, at least for right now. We'll just get a bunch of food here. We have uh, we have stable, it looks like a warehouse here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a warehouse expansion real quick. Um, hmm. This is not I mean, We took the town down. That was kind of the, the main point of this whole thing. Um, and we do have enough horses here. We can actually make um, make some more dragoons. Let's have all these guys march into here, though. Except for the dragoons themselves. Dude, when are you going to learn that um, we're not going to offer you peace? We're going to try to capture as many, uh, many soldiers as we can of yours. Because the more we capture now, the less we have to deal with later. And that's kind of the idea right now. I'm wondering if I can actually have that frigate take all those horses down to Isabel so we can have more. We can have all of our, or most of our dragoons back. We also need to get some more pri or, uh, pioneers. Because, uh, um, yeah, there's there's three, four, four veteran soldiers. They just ran into that that uh, ran into the uh, that town there. So not ideal. Go ahead and buy complete it. We saw a blacksmith down here. That's why. Why can't we just make our own tools down there? All right. So there's one carpenter done. Did we really need to move him down to Isabel, but mm, not right this second with uh, the Spanish being that close. I really don't feel as comfortable as I would, but uh, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, we had so many people in there that it was just causing us to lose one production for every person. But since we kind of evened that out, uh, we were a little bit easier there. Um, let's go to Santa Domingo. We do have a galleon here, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and just dump those horses in there. They do have a soldier out there uh, blocking our way. Let's go ahead and clear some orders here. See if we can actually uh, capture that guy. No orders on him or him. Nope. Nope. So right now, Jamestown, I'm just going to kind of keep in lockdown as best I can. This guy's going to march into Isabel. March into Isabel. Uh, this guy can go ahead and head on this way. Uh, this guy's going to go to Isabel because he isn't walking all the way back there. Uh, no orders on that guy. No orders on that guy. No orders for him. Uh, this guy can go ahead and join down here. No orders, no orders. Want to buy. Uh, this guy is going to go attack. And that guy's going to harden the veteran status. Awesome. This guy's going to attack. Harden the veteran status. So it's a lot easier to train troops this way. Uh, you know, if some people say you can put them in college, and it's like, no. Oh, crap. This is the one I wanted to move. Dang it. No orders. That guy's still going to Santo Domingo. No orders on that guy. So I got a feeling James Towns would be just as hard as it was to take out Isabel. So, yeah. And I don't like how all this is spaced out because, um, technically, um, you know, we're going to somehow build a road or something like that down to here. Um, I, I don't know. I 
I think the the French want to take out my little town here. I mean, that's a lot of troops just around one town that just produces cotton. I don't know. And we're having let's have an ore party. Just throw all the ore in the harbor. That's fine. Got an artillery that needs to go to somewhere. Uh, probably New Holland or New Amsterdam, probably. Let me look here. Um. Yes, we'll put it there next. And then we'll, next one will go to uh, probably Santo Domingo. Really, right now, I'm just training. I'm, I'm getting ready for the, the big war that comes later. That's all, all I'm really doing right now. I'm getting more port cities, uh, which you need quite a few of. Um, and then... Uh, Once I get rid of all the port, or get enough port city, which honestly, once I capture Jamestown and the other one, Plymouth, I think it is, I think I'll be okay for towns. But then it just becomes a, a point of trying to uh, reinforce all of them. So the Pioneer again. No orders for that guy. No orders. Let's go ahead and attack this soldier out here. Orders. Santa Domingo will have him fortify there, fortify there, have him capture that colonist. You know, you would think after, you know, the king sends like a million people, it seems like. Oh, he sends hundreds of people over here, and uh, all of a sudden, they just keep getting captured, they, or they go missing, or they get killed in action or whatever. You would think they would just stop sending people over here eventually. Maybe that's just me thinking that, but... Uh, I don't know. Go to New Holland. Park those guys there. You know what? We're going to start surrounding their town uh, like they do to us. Not that, I mean, number one, so they don't have any people escape this time. That was kind of our issue last time. I'll fortify, please. Uh, this guy's going to go to New Amsterdam. So hopefully, maybe next next uh, uh, stream might be the last one. Hopefully, we can. Uh, really, we're just kind of building up enough troops so that um, the king does not try to take us out that fast. Um, and honestly, we have if you if you go by kind of like historical things, you know, um, you know, America declared. Oh, yep, there we go. We got that. That was awesome. Got eight thousand dollars just for that. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get three more pioneers. I know it's a lot, but we're gonna try to build a road all the way from like New Amsterdam to our to Isabel and Jamestown and all that. Um, and I think I also want to get a couple more veteran soldiers. Um, can't arm them with uh, can't arm them with um, horses though. We did get Thomas Jefferson though. Thomas, what do you give us? Um, okay, so it, that just doubles our Liberty Bell production, which is awesome. Uh, we'll go with Coronado next. We're almost got everybody in our con Continental Congress, which is awesome to see. Shoot, that ship has horses on it. It does. Um, ah, shoot, what do I do? Uh, we'll, we'll need to keep an eye on that, because if they ever hit 300, we want to get them onto a ship so that, um... So that we can actually use them uh, for, you know, we can actually get them to where we need them. Uh, this guy needs to go out again and start, uh, we need to take out some of their shipping still. And where's that guy? Uh, this guy can go there. Him. Nope. Do this. We'll have that one guy move down there. So if they want us to get the city, they have to go north. And hopefully by that time, we'll have enough soldiers just to uh, take him out by then. Fortify there. 
uh, this guy, I think. We'll have him start doing the road. Um, we'll have these guys start in Santa Domingo and work their way down the coast. We'll have... I see another Spanish dragoon out there, too, which is not ideal. Um, what I'll do is I'll have... Um, those two guys start in Santa Domingo and work their way down. We'll have the other the three new guys start in Isabella and work their way north. I think that's going to be I, probably the best way to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and unfortify. Let's see if we can clear this guy's orders. Clear this guy's order. And since he's a dragoon, he's going to need at least three attacks to take him down. So we'll do that. So yeah, I, I got to be feeling that this is really taking a toll on... Uh, uh, the Spanish somehow. I mean, they they've made a, or they don't have. It seems like they just kind of they're uh, not doing as well, which is good. And it's we don't want to see them kind of spring back up what they did last time. Um, if you were here for our last stream, um, you, you remember that this is actually the second war we've had with the Spanish. Um, because the first time uh, they fought, uh, or uh, the first time they were just surrounding our towns, it kind of be a little more annoying. Uh, than anything else and so we kind of beat them back we didn't take any of their cities or anything like that um, but you know, we, we kind of taught them a lesson uh, but they kind of came back with a lot oh, come on they came back with a lot more troops and so this time I'm like you know what we need the cities anyways so let's just go ahead and uh, Have those guys wait for now. All right, we got all of our horses here now, or a lot more horses. Unload the horses, anyways, because they're not, they're not going to be here that long. More dragoon, 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 dragoon. can only be a soldier because we're, we're out of horses. All right, so we still need about, what, 150 horses down here? Not uh, not ideal, but we have more dragoons now. This guy needs to go to New Holland. I know, he's going to make the long trek up there. Uh, I'm tap tempted to have this guy attack just to see if he can do something, something a little different. Nope. But unfortunately, when we attack him... He hardens to the veteran status, which is not great. I really don't want to send my pioneers too close to him. I have my troops start fortifying outside of uh, Jamestown here. Just to... Uh, it should mess them up a little bit. You know how they always mess us mess us up when they fortify around our towns. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. But I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, once we capture Jamestown, I'll end the stream there. It might be a little early, but my throat is starting to go out a little bit. And uh, I don't know how much longer it's going to you know, hang in there. So All right, it looks like we got actually got our second carpenter here. So let's go ahead and have this guy become a colonist. And we'll have this guy become a colonist. And we'll move this guy out. Um, one of these guys will head to Santa Domingo, or towards Isabel. Um, yeah, why not? We got money. Well, let's do that. I'm going to drop him off in New Amsterdam. It's pretty good. So now we can actually have one of those head towards... Uh, San or head that one towards Santa Domingo. That's a good one to see. Let's go ahead and have this guy attack as well. This guy needs to get down here as well. Fortify that guy. Let's go and save this one here. Because we're already in the year 1700, so... Yeah, it's... Uh, we've already got quite a... Oh, crap. So we already have quite a... Quite a... Or we've already gone through quite a bit of time. Uh, let's head this, this guy head to New Amsterdam because we need to pick up more horses there. Um, 
that guy's not going to go anywhere, so I'm not too concerned with that uh, soldier anymore. Don't worry for that guy. See if we can get this guy to beat that veteran. I don't think he will, but we'll see. Yes. So we have all of our uh, troops now at veteran status, which is awesome. Have these guys ride down this way. We'll attack from there, so. Uh, this, these guys, uh, let's look at the reports and see uh, what we have here. Um, hmm. Let's have these guys head over to Santa Domingo. Uh, all, all of them, I guess. I mean, we, we need some more troops on the coast. And they can get there in one turn. Awesome. And our artillery is also going to Santa Domingo. This guy, we're going to have him start sailing south. See if maybe we can take out this guy. At least we damaged it. This guy is going to go to Isabel. We're going to, more, we're going to have to have more horses with those guys too, but uh, that's fair. Four to five. So now, hopefully, they won't be able to run. I mean, the four soldiers that they had. Hopefully they won't be able to run out of there. That's kind of the idea. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. I thought we were, we'd be okay, but no. That really sucks. Uh, there we go. We got some more artillery here. Oh, this guy's got horses on him. Let's go ahead and have him load up with another set of horses and head to Isabel. No orders, no orders. Nope. He's also doing a lot of exploring for us there. It's pretty good for him. Santa Domingo. What do I want these guys to do? So that guy can actually harden to a, a dragoon. And we'll have him we'll have them fortify there, because that's what they were they were just town defense, but we had that one Spanish well, we actually do have a Spanish guy still there, so not ideal, but uh, we'll capture him. Uh, he's going to New Holland. He really can't go anywhere anyways. Go ahead and just capture that guy real quick. Have this guy start heading this way. All right, this is where we're actually going to start attacking Jamestown. That doesn't end well. All right, we damaged the artillery though. I can live with that. Um, New Holland. This these guys can that can produce more wood than uh, more wood than the hammer. So let's go ahead that guy head up there. We'll have this guy head towards we'll have it head towards Santo Domingo first and then head towards Isabel. Um this guy really needs to head towards let's go look here. Um, New Holland already I think has two, yeah. Um, Santa Domingo always could use the second one. Let's do that. Stretch the legs out a little bit. This is actually going pretty well so far. At least I think it is. Uh, let's see here. These guys. Let's put him. We'll put him with the blacksmith to try to make a little more tools. Or Santa Domingo can't really do much with that. 
plenty of tools there. So this is what kind of worries me, though, is that, you know, we can get to, like, um, for uh, um, Santa Domingo, we can get there in one turn with a uh, dragoon and stuff like that. So I'm not too concerned with this or with that. But with Isabel, it may take a couple turns before we can really actually get there. And that's what kind of worries me. So, uh, we'll have those guys sit out there. Uh, fortify. Just gonna head over this way. You know, I guess what I could do, I have to think about this, but if I really wanted more um, the soldiers or more room for muskets and things, horses like, and things like that, I could just arm a bunch of the uh, free colonists with muskets and horses. And they won't be the best soldiers in the world, but, you know, they'd still would be soldiers. Ooh, multiple artillery there. Uh, that's not ideal. Let's lean back up here. Have the dragoon attack, see if we can maybe. Yep. Fortify there. Fortify there. Ooh, drop more guys off there. I didn't expect that, but uh, I mean, really, it's like they drop more guys off. We have the like, guys a little much for uh, for those guys. Uh, what I want to see, though, number one is that one. Okay, they dropped the troops down off down there. Uh, what I wanted to see, though, okay, so it's just we we got a couple of soldiers just sitting in there now. Really can't press an attack right this second. Uh, but we did get uh, a couple more people down here. Um, kind of hard to see what we got down here, unfortunately. Uh, we do have enough for another dragoon, though. So let's go ahead and get one dragoon going. No orders for that guy. I can get New Holland. Go to New Holland. orders on that guy. Ah, New France. Well, we're still making peace with them, so it's not too bad. Up and fortify. No orders from that guy. We'll have them actually start moving here shortly. Uh, let's see here. No orders on that guy. No orders on that guy. Nope. 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 A road, please. This guy, we can start doing a road like you're there. Have this guy go back to Isabel, wait for some more horses to show up. Nope. San Domingo, does that actually have a, a carpenter? They do. Um, but for some reason, that guy's not making lumber. This guy should be making food over there. This guy should be making 14 lumber there. And he can make 9 food either way. So, Alright, we can send him to start making more hammers. Fair enough, he won't make... Uh, they'll make it 14. He's like, oh, he's making 14 lumber. So there we go. Uh, but we do need a lumber mill here eventually. Let's do, let's do it right now. We don't need a Collins there, so uh, New Holland there. Fortify Santo Domingo. We're actually getting about out of stream time. I figured we would uh, have beat Jamestown by now. I guess not. I guess what I could do, and I probably will do, um, is actually just clear all the orders of those guys fortified around there 
and so I'll just start attacking with everything I have. Buy completed. Uh, New Holland has 300 horses now. There's nothing here to store them with. That's not good. Zoom colony. We're producing a lot more now. Uh, let's go ahead and build a fort here. He's almost there. By next turn, we'll have horses there. Uh, so let's actually head over to here to Isabella. Or Jamestown, I'm sorry. Let's clear all these orders. And we're just going to attack the town with everything we have now. Holland needs the uh, carpenter in there. Perfect. All right, this guy down here will save the game here. This isn't going well for us right now. I, I don't know why. It's, just, it's not going too well. That artillery is just tearing us up. Hey, we finally damaged it. All right, let's see. Oh, they got another artillery. All right, cool. That's just great. Um, yeah, these guys are just going to go road this way. That's not what I wanted to do. Nope. I think one guy was successful in that whole attack. That's not great. Was it? I don't know if this is going to end well for us. Hopefully, fingers crossed it will, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, that's the problem I was, I was kind of afraid of, is that they could get more reinforcements in there, and I really don't want them to do that. Hopefully my ship with horses will, will be there this turn. Um, at least that's the hope. And then we can, uh, at least we can start, you know, taking out some of their more, uh, more valuable stuff. Got some colleges springing up everywhere, so that's pretty good. Yes, now we need to go down to Isabel. Drop off these horses here. That'll give us four more dragoons for the fight. More dragoons. More dragoons. All right, cool. So looks like there's only maybe what two here that don't have yeah looks like there's only two that don't have uh, horses but there's a ton more down here unfortunately hopefully an overland route will be a little bit quicker look at that two ships in one all right this guy needs to go to new holland we have a bunch of horses there we can use uh, you know what? Let's save the game here. Try to attack their snap. Yeah, that didn't work out well. So if we, maybe we just attack the town, see if that works any better. Nope. All right. Well, that's not great, but uh, I can stop that guy there. See, I don't think there's any shipping down here, so I think we pretty much stopped all that. So, at least for now, and they might have a few this troop ships around. Dang it. This is not as easy as I would hope it to be. Alright, we got another artillery damage, so that's good. Road there. Alright, 
there's that. Alright, cool. They actually have some damaged artillery. That's all they have. Like, fair enough, they have more dragoons there, but, uh, um, um, I don't know why I did that. Uh, looks like, but that's all they have, is, or hopefully, well, I don't know what, what I was going to say there. They have damaged artillery there, so that means that they only have two there. Um, which, that's true, that means we can get, hopefully, get rid of them here shortly. We have a bunch of dragoons to pull out of here still. Uh, road there. Move him up to there. Yes, I am well aware how crazy it is to have five pioneers on one project. I'm well aware. Yes, there's one artillery destroyed. There's a second artillery destroyed. Awesome. Alright, Lux turning around, I think, a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nope. You know what? Save here. We're going to try to attack this guy, because why not? Oh, it's a third damage artillery. Well, it's gone now, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, I think I finally got rid of all their artillery there, at least. It took us a while, but we got it all done. So hopefully we'll have Jamestown by the end of this. Oh, man, they're attacking, or they're hitting back. What a what a butthead. Ooh, that's not good. Not good at all. Starting to fight back a little bit, but uh, I think we, you know, we got to get a soldier there. Might have to try to take him out. There's gotta be some more dragoons here, right? Yeah, they're all four dragoons are there, so I'll probably split two and run after this soldier, two down to that soldier, I guess. That guy. Alright, let's save the game here. Try to attack this guy. Guy. This guy, he's useless right now, so get him out of there. Let's save the game. Capture that colonist, hopefully. Yep. No orders to that guy. Uh, up and fortify. Fortify. Alright. Save game here. Let's see what, uh, what else we got here. We got a dragoon. Alright. Where's our dragoons at? I know there's some in Isabel. Let's get that guy down that way. Road. Save game. Try to attack this guy. Alright. Come on, this please please no one else be there. No, come on. Yes, I think we just captured it. Yes. Okay, that was uh, a tough little fort. But uh, I don't think anybody escaped from that one. I think we we went out and captured everybody. Unless they escaped by ship, of course. But uh, that is possible. Now we get to clean up a little bit around, our, uh, our, around there a little bit. Let's have these guys just go in here. These guys can actually ride out this way, and hopefully. And dude, you have caused us so much grief. We're not gonna, we are not gonna say no. We're, we're gonna say no to a peace treaty. All right, guys. Well, I think that's where I'm gonna stop uh, for right now. Uh, well, for today, because um, we have done quite a bit. We've uh. Taking out quite a few of uh, quite a few of their uh, towns. Uh, unfortunately, I, I was figured that guy would be uh, at least one of them would be hit. Um, let's 
So yeah, no, I, I figured that uh, we would be doing something like this, but uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a good uh, good grasp on the uh, these two forts now, and uh, we just got to capture Plymouth. They have another settlement down. They have two settlements. They have this Veracruz, and I think they have one up here more. Which this one would be pretty easy to take out um, from Fort Orange. So um, not too concerned about that one. Uh, so we'll have a little bit of cleanup work to do next time. Uh, we have a couple soldiers still hanging around here. We'll re-equip with horses and things like that, and probably go after the last couple of settlement settlements. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I'll keep them unless they have a stockade on them. I'll have to keep them. Uh, but yeah, these forts here are actually pretty powerful. So I'll keep those. Um, the road actually is going pretty well. We uh, we don't probably just probably two or three more turns. We'll have the road completed from Santa to Ming Santa or Santo Domingo uh, to uh, Isabel. Uh, we do need to get some more cannons in here and probably need a lot more soldiers as well. Um, so we'll see about all this. So let's save our game and uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to the main camera here, guys. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you guys actually enjoyed watching this, I would go ahead and, if you could, uh, leave a follow on Twitch. We are up to 29 right now, so we're almost 60% of the way to getting to that affiliate goal, uh, which is actually pretty neat to see. Um, once we hit that, uh, I don't know what we'll be doing, the next goal will be after that, but yeah, we're trying to get to that 60%. I think that would be pretty neat. And then um, after that, we are, um, so I totally lost my train of thought there. If you're watching this later on YouTube, I do appreciate that as well. Go ahead and leave a, leave a like and comment if you guys did enjoy this video. Um, that's actually been pretty, you know, you know, it's maybe not the most popular series on YouTube. Um, I mean, my Planet Coaster ones are, for some reason, they always seem to take off pretty well. Um, but yeah, people have been enjoying this on the on, on YouTube as well, so if you guys would, be great. Um, I, if you guys want to watch a stream live, uh, I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are curious, uh, I do stream usually on Tuesdays. Uh, we've been playing Planet Coaster. Thursdays has been colonization. So um, right now, it's um, we're probably getting one more or two more streams out of this. Probably not much else. And then on Fridays, we've been playing Battletech, which has been a really fun series so far. Uh, if you guys are tuning in tomorrow, it'll be 1 p.m. Uh, we actually just got our we got the Atlas, and we haven't taken it out for a spin yet, and I really want to see what that thing can do. Um, so, yeah, if you come back tomorrow, 1 p.m., you'll see that and plenty more as well. Um, but for now, guys, um, I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Um, have a good dinner and things like that. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some uh, Battletech uh, in uh, MechWarrior 5. So I'll see you guys then.